We'll be calling you a radical March Madness, March Madness. Did I not tell you the Michigan State Rocket Mortgage Smart Cell will never win again? They will never win again. They're like Weber State here. This house, I bought a, I got a ticket for $500. An activist bought me. She said, if you quit drinking for two weeks, I'll buy you one for life. <laughs> Their life is different. The nuclear industry built this house. It has a curse on it. These are talking some of the greatest choke artists in human history, sports-wise. Ask Damian Lillard. Only up by 50, 20 points at halftime. Never played in a dance. Jimmy Valvano cut down the nets, then died of cancer. I can go on and on. Jason Kidd, his illustrious, incredible career, upset in his last game there. I can go on and on and on in this house, the Waters curse. Fukushima, Fukushima. I just watched the Frontline documentary, and let's talk about this. This is Weber State. Why the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, it gets better. Why would they have those? I'm like, well, do you know what that means? Do you know what Diachi means in slang? Oh, I do. Oh, I do. Why? <laughs> well, guess this. Inside the Union now, and I shot a little video in there now, they have a Japanese sushi bar. Oh, they know exactly what they're up to as far as the cover-up. They built the reactors at Fukushima. The frontline lie. Let's flip this can. I told you. Michigan State, and it's important because the best team Weber State ever had at Bakeland, ever in their illustrious history, even when I'm friends with Sackowitz when he missed the front end of 101 and Paul at Pavilion. You know what his new story is? I usually go to Nevada before I got cancer with Sackowitz. I watch games, but last time I went to a Weber State in the dance was with the Sackowitz boys. He missed that free throw, you know, to go to the final eight. Of course, they had to play UCLA. He says, well, you know, Kev, she was in the stands that day. Who? Lana Turner. Oh, that's the first one I've heard that one. I could take my eyes out. They're going to go down the Michigan State Spartacus, so the Judd Heathcote Sean Rest, but I worked for Coach Baglin. I was at that game. Michigan State's his last game. Well, it comes full circle. He used to knock him over here at the old Swenson Gym because, uh, yeah, Michael Ray Richardson knocked over some of those great Weber State. The Rocket Mortgage, Michigan State Spartans, head by 11 points late in that game. Losing overtime. I told you. Did I tell you? They're done forever. They're done forever. They will never win again. Take your fucking state fucking funded taxpayer check, his own stick it up your ass. The curse on here? You don't know a fucking curse. The Frontline documentary is a half truth, black and yellow journalism. Me and my grandson, who I take to school every day, was born this month. He'll turn 10. I call him the Fukushima. He's a genius. Both of them are. I'm like, we had this conversation this morning. You know, he's always teasing me about my YouTube sites. You know, Grandpa, you think about it. You're talking the greatest event in human history. The meltdowns and your knowledge on it and your work. They should have millions of views. He says, years from now, are you going to leave the YouTube site to me? I says, yeah, you'll make millions off those videos when I'm dead and gone. I says, you'll be famous. The 75th anniversary of Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Only kid out there. Got to hold the paper crane in his hand. On Fox News interview, him. I says, when 25 years from now, on the 100th anniversary, I'll probably be dead and gone, but you'll be so famous. He says, oh, no, you won't be dead and gone. This is... Oh, you don't think it ties into basketball? The natives play basketball in this set landscape right here. This is an ancient burial ground. I've known that since I was a kid. I grew up here. For thousands of years, the natives played right here. Basketball. Michigan State, March Madness. They will never win again. Ever. Ever. They're done. Their illustrious historic program is over. Rocket Mortgage Spartacans on their uniforms last night. Head by 11 points late. One of the greatest meltdowns in history. 
lose in overtime. Got to go with your left, Jarek. This historic choke artist fucking team. Oh, they're chokers. And I mean chokers. Have been for fucking years. Years. It's got a curse. You don't think the water's curse is real? You'll look at this and I'll wonder why. I wonder why the water's curse. I wonder why. What they did to Kevin Blanche, you don't think that's historic? Just think, Mark Hoffman. Just think what this university did to Fawn McKay Brody. First female history dean in the United States. First female professor, 17 years old. Look what they did to her. Just the greatest historian in history from here. Look at this guy. Uh, sushi bar in the Union. March Madness. Michigan State will never win again. Rocket Moral. You don't think that's significant? Taxpayers pay for the buildings. Taxpayers pay for the coaches. Taxpayers pay for the facility. They pay everything. The NCAA just robs the money out the door. The Chick-fil-A free throw. Get a TV contract. <laughs> what a slave league. What a business model. They will never, ever win again, Michigan State. March Madness 2021. COVID balls, Stan Tunin, the choke artists. It's a curse.